Well, hello, YouTubers. How you guys doing? Today, I'm up here at Cars and Trucks Direct of Bernie, Texas. I'd like to give a big thanks for providing the vehicle featured in today's in-depth review. Links to their website and contact information can be found in the video description. So today, I found here this beautiful 2016 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sahara. This is going to be a complete and in-depth review of the Sahara. We'll start the engine, show it off, go over some of the performance specs and show you many features that this vehicle has to offer. For starters, we'll go ahead and start walking around the exterior like we always do. Let's check. This has a beautiful electric blue color. I forget what color it's actually called, but it is one of, probably one of my most favorite colors of all time. Just look at the way it gleams in the sunlight and how flashy this thing is. It's got a color matched front bumper with a fog lights built in, color matched grill. It's got it's got the original 18-inch wheels wrapped in Bridgestone Dueler AT tires, dark chrome trim on the rims. Does have running boards on the side. Alright, so now we can show you the back real quick. Oh. Very good amount of cargo space in the back. We can shut this up. All right, and before I go on the interior, I would like to show you that this vehicle does come with remote start. It's very simple how it operates. Just hit lock and hit the remote start button twice. Horn will sound. And there you go. And then turn it off, just hit the button again. Inside, this does have a black cloth interior. All your power options are right up here. Your power windows, window locks, power door locks, and power mirrors. So, let's go ahead and jump inside here. Overall, this is just an awesome looking Jeep. Now we'll go ahead and start the engine. I know it showed up something just a second ago. I'm gonna see if it does it again. Okay, maybe it's not wanting to do it. But anyway, it had a Jeep logo that showed up right there. But anyway, let's go ahead and show you the instrumentation. It says 332 miles on its odometer, barely broken in. So, now let's go ahead and start this thing. Awesome. It's got a full leather wrapped steering wheel. Nice and smooth power assisted steering. Just a little bit of stiffness to it. It's got a five speed automatic transmission with manual shiftability by push, pushing left and right, left to shift down, and right to shift up. Your numbers will show right up there in the dash. All right, now we're going to turn on the lights. It does have automatic lights, the fog lights, and the hazards. Both the front windows are automatic down. So now let's go ahead and check out the exterior. Alright, now let's go ahead and go back in, 
shut off all the lights. And now we'll go ahead and pop the hood and show the engine. Just release the latches on both sides. Get access to the main hood latch and lift it up. At the business end of this Wrangler, we find here it's 3.6 liter Pentastar V6. Dual overhead cams with four valves per cylinder. This engine produces 285 horsepower and 260 foot-pounds of torque. Smooth running engine. It's all stock under here, stock air box. This vehicle goes capable of a zero to 60 time at, to my knowledge, around, around eight seconds. And, and can tow a maximum of around 3,000. 3,000 pounds and also it's pretty deep fuel efficient too EPA fuel economy estimates for this engine range between 17 miles per gallon city and 23 miles per gallon highway on regular unleaded gas so let's go ahead and shut the hood here just drop it down reattach the latches And there you go. Alright, now we're going to go back in. Now we'll go ahead and see how it sounds. It does have a rev limiter around 3000 RPM. Beautiful sounding engine. Parking brakes are located right down here. The indicator light shows right up there in the dash. Alright, so now we're going to shut the door, roll up the window, check out some of the interior features. Right up here is its original radio. Right up there is your voice activation. Available options are frequency number, next station, previous station, radio menu, main menu, or cancel to exit. Cancel. Very nice. Right here's all your radio settings. You can go through AM, FM, and satellite radio. Uh, down to your media, you do HDD, disc, and auxiliary. Your line ins right over here. Right here is for your USB. Open this up. You have a CD, your CD and DVD right there. Go through your menu right here, your system setup, your nav setup, subscription, channel lock, favorites. You go through your display settings. Your picture view, your default view, and turn your screen off there. You can also go through all your audio equalizer settings, your My Files. Nice, and on, also on the radio, you can, you can store up to to 12 presets. You can also view your presets genres right there. Nice climate controls down here. Here's your traction control off, downhill assist, one 15 volt outlet switch, 12 volt power point over here, storage net down there, two cup holders down here, right here's your four wheel drive transfer case, just pull it back once, and now you're in four high, put it over once, now you're neutral, then Pull it down once more. Now you're in four low. Up there it shows your traction control is off. Right. 
Now back in four high, we just went past neutral, then back up to two high. Nice to have a manual transfer case so you don't have to worry about any electronics going bad. Storage nets right on the side. Glove box. Visors with mirrors up here. Reading lights up there. Does have an auto dimming rear view mirror. Center console storage down there. This is the much larger compartment. Another 12 volt power outlet and, U and another USB port. Little smaller console right up there. Up here you do have your cruise control. All your heads up display is controlled right there. Right here, right now shows your compass and outside temperature. You go through your menu, you can show your digital speedometer. Your average miles per gallon, your distance to empty, tire pressure, timer reset, vehicle information, units from English to metric, system okay, personal settings, and about your compass and speedometer. Very nice. Your wiper controls are right over here. It does have a tilt steering column. It's got a manual sliding seat with manual adjustment, manual recline. Again, show you the back seat. You have a very good amount of room in the back seat. I'm 6'5 in height, and this is how much room I have back here. Right here, the two window switches for the rear. Two storage compartments for the back passengers. Storage nets on the side. Two cup holders down here. You also do have another reading light back here, mounted out around the roll bar. Two speakers for the back. You also do have two speakers in the front below the dash. Overall, this is a very nice truck. I'm going to go ahead and shut it down here. Well guys, I hope y'all enjoy this in-depth review of the 2016 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sahara. Please like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.